Just getting down here to the cabin. It's just about supper time. A little late getting going today. But well, just uh, got the wood stove going. It's supposed to get down pretty chilly tonight, minus eight or something. But beauty evening right now. I think it'll soon be time to uh, switch over to the tires on the quad. Lots of dirt showing now. Lots of rocks and mud. Water. But still a lot of deep snow in the woods. So it's kind of it's kind of 50-50 with the tracks. I probably can't get down here with tires just yet. Still a lot of deep snow in, you know, in the shaded areas. But it'll soon be time to switch over to the tires for sure. Damn hot in here now. Way too hot. No. Sun. So guys, not really much planned for tonight. Just wanted to come down, chill out. It was actually snowing this morning when, when I woke up. It snowed quite a bit, but then the sun came out and melted uh, pretty much everything that fell. So for supper I just got a, a little steak there. And I've got some potatoes. Pack of noodles for later maybe. I'm just going to peel some potatoes. I like to cut them up in cubes, almost like big hash browns. And uh, fry them like that in the pan. Throw an onion in there too. I actually might have to go down in the morning and try to fix my, my bridge. It looks like it's uh, moved a little bit. So I might go down and try to tow that back in place in the morning. There he is. Just came back outside just to do some glass in there, looking around. I seen the gray jays there. See them from a mile away and I was watching them, watching them. They go from tree to tree till they got right right here. They must have knew I was here. I watched them watched them from a long ways away. Come on. All yours. What? Come on. Come on. Oh man, why so greedy? Why so greedy? The other gray jay sitting on top of the tree. Not moving. Just the one gray jay comes and lands on my hand. Come on. Come on. Kids love feeding the gray jays. I wish they were here, no? Come on. Just got my phone right there. Hooked up to the little uh, portable solar panel. Charging up. I want to do a YouTube live tonight, so I got to get my phone charged up there. Good stuff? Yeah. We're gonna go check Nevaeh's birdhouse, see if anything's living in there yet. Nothing yet. Oh, 
Time to get the big boy on for supper. I have one here, I just put a little more oil on, cleaned it up a little bit. Gotta get this off, too warm in here. Oh, I forgot, I have a cold hanger. Potatoes. Get these almost cooked, or pretty much cooked, and then I'll throw the steak in there. She's a pretty lean steak. I won't cook it long, that's for sure. Just a little ketchup. Late supper, it's like quarter after eight. I want to do a YouTube live at nine. But it's nice that the days are getting longer. The sun is just it's just set over there. Mm. That's good. Let's see how tough this steak is. Not too bad at all, actually. A little bit tough, but not as tough as I expected. Anyway, guys, I'm going to enjoy my supper, my late supper. And then I'm going to clean up, get ready for the uh, YouTube live. And I'll uh, check back with you guys in a bit. So just got off the YouTube live there. Shout out to everybody who came by. Said hi. Get my bed ready for the night. So I'm going to let the stove go out. And uh, what I'll do is I'll get some splits and everything ready for the morning. And uh, that way when I get up, when I wake up, I can just jump up, light the stove, jump back in the sleeping bag until it warms up here. That does two things. It allows me to get a better night's sleep, actually. Because I don't have to get up and keep putting wood in the stove through the night every hour and a half or two hours. And it also saves me some firewood. I don't have to have as much firewood, you know what I mean? Anyway, guys, I'm going to uh, head to bed. It's about 10.30 right now. I want to get up around 5 or so. Try to catch the sunrise. I may go back to bed after for a little bit, but... I want to be up early and catch that sunrise, try to get it on film. Uh, I'm going to let the stove go out, like I said, so it's going to be a cold morning. But I am looking forward to the nice sunrise, nice crispy, frosty morning. I uh, can't wait. See you guys in the morning.
So for breakfast, I'm going to break out the little pan, the one I cleaned up yesterday. Had a little rust in it. I haven't used it in a long time, so cleaned that one up yesterday. I'm going to use it today. I can't really get the stove hot enough today because it gets way too hot in here. So just letting the stove, the wood stove simmer kind of kind of thing. Just, just to keep a little heat in here, but not too hot. And I'm going to use the propane stove today. Hole in the bread. That's some good coffee. Good coffee. So your bread goes in the pan. Then your egg goes in the hole in the bread. Had to uh, bring my second cup outside. It's too nice out here. Too nice out here not to be sitting out drinking coffee. And I've still got the wood stove going in there. It's I'm just burning like one stick at a time. It's probably 35 degrees in there still. Too hot. tidied up now dishes are done floor is swept up got some garbage and recyclables to take out when I go gonna take those empty jugs too so I can refill them yeah I had a nice relaxing night had a fun time on the YouTube live last night so I'm gonna pack up the quad now and head out it looks like the uh, runoff from the melt has moved my bridge across the brook there has moved it a little bit shifted down the brook a little bit I may stop with the quad and try to winch winch the bridge back in place there so I'm gonna pack up and uh, head out and I'll stop at the bridge there and have a look see if I can fix it up I definitely need to put the bridge higher I'll do that once once the, all the melt you know calms down the, the water level goes down and stuff then we'll have a look at it and once the water level goes down I'll uh, get started on the second bridge there across the second little stream and just waiting for the snow to melt in here in these trees I want to put the outhouse in those trees there it's not going to be a pit toilet like I've said before it's going to be a composting toilet like uh, the sawdust one so I uh, just need to need this snow to melt in there Hopefully it won't be too much longer. I also have some caulking coming. I ordered the Dynaflex caulking online. That's what uh, most people seem to suggest. Uh, it's it's a good. It was good price and it seemed. I, I read reviews and stuff and it seems to work fine for what I need it for. The outside, the caulking the outside logs. So we'll give it a try anyway. Should be here this week and uh, I'll definitely take you guys along also I was tagged in a video by Marty up north there a little b-roll uh, uh, short film challenge so I'll try to get that out this week lots of stuff coming and, and like I've said before I've got lots of time right now work is delayed starting so 
for now I might as well take advantage of the spare time and, and, and pump out as many videos as I can. I mean I have lots of ideas so I might as well I might as well get at it and uh, you know keep the videos coming. Anyway guys thanks a lot for watching again and we'll catch you on the next one.